hello friends welcome to the new section so in this section we will learn how to model a building so we will use a simple residential building that you can see on your screen uh, and in the next section we will learn how to apply various kinds of load and after that we will learn how to analyze the design and we will also learn how to detail the various structural components of a building Before moving into the course, I would like to first explain few things and tell you where this software comes into play, the Start Pro software that we are practicing, okay? In a building design, in the process of designing a building, where exactly this step or, you know, this software comes into play. Okay, let me explain you this thing. So let us assume that there is this guy, okay, this guy let us call him client okay and he got money and he wants to build a house or you know any structure or maybe a shopping mall or you know anything he want to invest money so what he will do is that he will first go to a consultant so he will go to a consultant consultant okay so this consultant will have so it's a office the consultant will have architects architects he will have structural designers structural designers okay and he will have uh, you know quantity estimators quantity estimators he will have draft person so what the draft person will do i'll tell you in a while and he will have other people you know other people like uh, people who prepare uh, bidding documents bidding and contract let me say that contract documents so he will have all those things okay and the consultant will also give you advice you know whether to increase the size of the room or decrease the size of the room uh, okay so uh, they will do that and based on the concept of the client and suggestion of the consultant they will first prepare the architectural drawings okay so the architects will prepare the architectural drawings so how the architectural drawing looks like so i'll show you that in a while so the architectural drawing basically will tell you what the structure is all about okay and how it's it's gonna look and what are the various components of that structure so once the architectural drawings are prepared, uh, the, the drawings are forwarded to the structural designer. So structural designer is a civil engineer that has mastered in structural engineering. Structural designer, what he will do, he will use those drawings. Okay, so he will use those drawings. And after that, uh, he will use those drawings and using the software like Start Pro start pro or you can say e tabs we got it's a very famous software i got sap 2000 so i got courses on these two softwares as well you can always check my profile okay so a little bit of advertisement as well <laughs> so uh, you can check okay so he will use any of the software based on what he is expert of and he will model the that structure you know that you know house let us say that house he will uh, model and he will analyze and design and once he has done designing so the software will give him uh, you know reinforcement reinforcement of beam and column and using a uh, manual method or you know excel sheets that he has already got he will design the slab and footings and staircase as well all these designs that he has done so he will just make a rough sketch okay uh, on a paper or anywhere he will just make a rough sketch of the reinforcement okay and uh, and once he has done that he will give those rough sketch to the draft person over here so the draft person what he will do he will make the structural drawings based on the rough sketch given by the structural designer this is where our software comes into play so this is the step where our software is used so now let me explain a uh, furthermore what happens then okay so for that i'll use the another color 
okay after that so they have prepared architectural drawings they have prepared structural drawings so they will prepare electrical drawings as well electrical drawings so uh, the electrical you know engineer or any specialist will do that and they will prepare the sanitary drawings so okay and uh, and based on all these drawings what they're gonna do so if they have got any ac or any other things so they will also prepare those drawings and what they will do is that now based on all these drawings so they will estimate the quantities of the various components for example in structural drawing so in a structural drawing they will get the uh, quantity of rebars or you can say uh, the the steel bars that are used so they will get that information and from architectural drawing they will get all the all the information much of the information is obtained from the architectural drawing such as uh, you know uh, the size of the you know the amount of bricks that will be used on that structure and amount of concrete amount of concrete that will be used uh, so this also can be obtained from the structural drawing as well all these things they will get the quantity of everything that will be used in that building after that what they will do they got the quantity so they will put the rate of each quantity and based on that they will get the total amount or the total cost of cost of construction so they will get it once they will get the total cost of construction they will tell the client so they will tell the client that your structure will be prepared in this much of money and he needs to arrange that money so after that what they're gonna do is that so they will prepare the contract documents and the bidding document so what a bidding document is now we got a project to do here so we got a project to do here so here we got a house to build and what now the consultant and the client combinedly will do is that so they will call the contractors so they will call contractor one contractor two contractor three to build that house and the consultant what he will do and the consultant what he will do he will give the contract document and the bidding document so bidding document will contain all the information about all the quantities that will be used in that project and the consultant will give those information to all these uh, you know contractors and the contractors will fill this rate okay this rate contractor one might fill suppose if it's a brick work if it's a brick work suppose if it's a brick work the rate of the brick work that is filled by contractor one might be dollar hundred and by contractor two it might be dollar hundred and ten and contractor three might be dollar ninety okay so they will fill all these things and they will finally give the final uh, price by which they can do that project and they will submit it back to the consultant okay so they will submit it back to the consultant and once they have submitted uh, the consultant will award that contract to the lowest bidder lowest bidder or the person that has quoted the lowest amount so that is how the bidding is done and once the contractor is contract is awarded the contractor will do the work and finally hand give the handover to the client so this is how a project is done and also there are other micro things that I have not explained here you know uh, how the supervision is done and how the handover and all those stuffs are done and how the contract is actually carried out keeping this thought so I just wanted to explain how a project is carried out so it will be helpful for the freshers that have not been to the site or any office okay so this is how everything is done in the next video we will see the architectural drawing and we will know what information we have to extract from the architectural drawing hello friends in this video we will see the architectural drawing that we will be using in this section and we will also learn what information to extract from the architectural drawing so you will learn not only to read this architectural drawing but any architectural drawing that you will lay your hands on if you have practiced a lot it will be very much easier to read the architectural drawing but if you are just a beginner in that case it might be a bit complicated in the beginning but keep on practicing get some uh, floor plans from the Google download them uh, study them and you know try to 
prepare some of the floor plans by your own it will help you to understand the things uh, this is how i generally do okay so once i get the architectural drawing the first thing i see is the elevations okay so here uh the site area is given but that's not so important okay so this, this is dolakha bus park so dolakha is a place uh, in nepal this project is from there and south elevation uh, so this is how it looks from the south okay so so i normally see the number of floors that we have so we got the ground floor we got the first floor we got the second floor okay and and we got we got a brick cladding on the south south and so it, this must be the staircase to the other floors so we got the windows as well or i might be wrong we will clarify that in a while so let us see the north elevation so that is the elevation on the opposite side so we got a plain just a wall so there might be some other person's property here so that is why they don't have any much any other doc decorations so we got a little little windows here and the west elevation that is this side's elevation you can see and so this is a outward projection so this whole thing is the outward projection and you can see how much outward it is here okay so you must have you must have seen these uh, you know outward projection designs in various buildings as you will be practicing as an engineer so you must observe you know structures that you come across while you are going somewhere or coming from somewhere or that you see on the roads so observe them how they are built what designs they are and uh, if possible if possible visit some sites if you are still studying and uh, while they are doing those rebar works or those steel works so uh, see them and also see how the concreting is done how the plastering is done how the brick work is done so uh, you know we got like 24 hours in a day and and if you are a uh, still a student or a fresh graduate that is looking for a job do that at least half an hour go to any construction site that is being done near you and this is the east elevation that you can see and we got the door here main door uh, main entrance door here and we got some uh, decorations here and uh, so this is not clear from this elevation and in such cases you have to consult with the architect what this is so as a structural designer you won't be needing what this is but if you are working at the site and if you are building this structure as a site engineer in that case you have to consult with the architect what this is or see the 3d drawing if you got of this structure okay and we also got the spiral staircase uh, on the, the second floor so, uh, let me see the floor plan now so you can see that we got three floors so this is the ground floor plan and and you can see this is the main entrance door and we got the steps like this so we saw the east elevation from here we saw the west elevation from here we saw the north elevation and we saw the south elevation all right guys so uh, you can see you know these things over here so they are the so they are they are for uh, you know this decoration that is done over here that uh, you know fair face brick or this brick cladding if you do or you just put the fair face bricks uh, this is how you get the concept of the structure and on the ground floor you know once you enter here using these steps this is the surrounding ground or you can say the soil soil level or the ground level and you got so this is first step this is second step okay so you got two steps are shown in the plan and let us see the elevation how many steps they are they have shown there 